We've got all the latest news on the Galaxy S21 release date, Galaxy S21 Ultra leaks, and all of the latest Galaxy S21 leaks are all here. So first we come to some news about the Galaxy S21 series and also specifically the Ultra about possibly Samsung getting rid of the charger in the box, which is actually just crazy considering how much they ribbed Apple for it recently. So we've seen Samsung come out on social media, just taking the mic out of Apple for taking out the box, telling us that they have a charger in the box. But this is a report from South Korea telling us that Samsung may be considering this for the S21 phones. Android brands have a massive history of doing this. They did it with the headphone jack. And look, we know this is going to happen in the future. In the future, smartphones will not come with a charger. Samsung are gonna do it. Huawei are gonna do it eventually. Xiaomi too. It's inevitable, but we didn't think it was going to happen this quickly. Anyway, for this leak, I think take it with a pinch of salt. Samsung may be considering this. It may be something that the board may be thinking of doing down the line. However, Samsung may take the opportunity to include the chargers in the box this time, have that as a good marketing opportunity, and then further down the line. It's pretty obvious it's not going to be included in future phones. Something they may take out of the box though is the earphones. This could go in the S21 series. These, to be honest, are pretty useless now for a lot of people. Most of us have Bluetooth earphones, TWS earphones, especially from Samsung. You've got Galaxy Buds. So this report definitely has some credence. It's obviously something that Samsung are considering, whether it comes this time or later. I think it's a matter of when and not if. And before we get on to the Galaxy S21 design changes, check out the links in the description for today's deals. Go and check them out if you want. But when it does come to the S21 Ultra, we actually got some initial leaks on this phone showing us some new designs, some design changes, especially with the camera bump coming in from that chassis. This has now been slightly changed and redesigned a little bit by OnLeaks. So initially we got the designs by OnLeaks who is usually incredibly accurate, but a small redesign in the S21 Ultra, making it slightly more like the other two in the lineup, the S21 and the S21 Plus. So the reason for this design change is a different prototype unit with a different design. So obviously Samsung, along with every other brand, makes different versions of each product. They see how testers like the product and use it. There are obviously some features in certain products that don't make it to the end device. But anyway, it looks like there were two prototypes, one with that design we got initially from OnLeaks, and then another with this redesign. Considering we have a lot of hardware leaks coming out about the design, you can see it right here. I would suggest that this will be the design for most of the phones. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is a little bit different though because of the huge camera array and the different hardware inside. Something that has come out of this redesign though is the possibility of a Penta camera system. We already know from Ice Universe that it's going to be a ultra wide, a main, a three times zoom and a five times zoom. So that's a quad camera. There could though be a fifth camera. Whether this is an actual camera or maybe a time of flight sensor or a laser autofocus hasn't yet been confirmed by leaks, but we can be pretty sure that there are at least five sensors in the S21 Ultra's camera array. Anyway, along with the redesigns from OnLeaks, we get this tweet by Jimmy is Promo, becoming a pretty reliable Samsung leaker at this point. So he tweeted this, that the design for the S21 Ultra is going to be way better. It's going to be blocky, rectangular, edgy, and premium. Actually, that sounds kind of like the iPhone this year, but that's no bad thing. Then when it comes to the release date of the Galaxy S21 series, everything is pointing to a much earlier release this time for these phones than we got last year or that we usually get. One of the main reasons for this could be the Lunar New Year holiday, which is much later in 2021. If Samsung launched the phones after that, that would mean they would pretty much be the end of February, maybe March until they actually went on sale, which is kind of late. This brings them really close into the summer launch of the Note series, the Z Fold 3, and also the Z Flip 2. Talking about the Z Flip 2, not much is known, but it looks like anyway from Ross Young that it's coming. There are some good upgrades to this, although no real information about what that is. Considering he's a supply chain consultant and really only knows about that, we can assume that this is getting the best display. So 120 Hertz LTPO display, fantastic quality overall, and maybe some hardness improvements as well. 
that launch, according to him anyway, not coming with the S21 series, but actually maybe on its own slightly after those, which would again lend credence to the S21 series coming a bit earlier, then the Lunar New Year, and then after that, the Z Flip 2. We also get a bunch of rumors about 144 Hertz displays in the S21 series, which sounds amazing, although I honestly don't think this is going to happen. But this one anyway is a sketchy rumor, and to be honest, I don't think Samsung have much need to do it. There are also some other rumors about the screens in the S21 phones, possibly getting some different features. They may feature some enhanced motion features like we've seen actually Oppo do and OnePlus do. So this uses frame rate interpolation. So when you're watching a movie, for example, in 24 or 30 frames a second, it will actually take all of those frames and basically make it into 60 frames a second. So it takes the frame before and the frame after, and then basically puts them together, makes a completely new frame and supposedly makes motion smoother. We saw Oppo and OnePlus do it, and in the real world, no one notices anyway. And anyway, films are supposed to be watched in 24 frames a second. That's the whole point. So this, again, a rumor that I just can't see coming. We also get this teaser directly from Samsung about some of the upgrades we get in One UI 3.0. This is, of course, going to be coming on the phones. Android 11 with the One UI 3.0 over the top. And to round off your Samsung news, we also get some new rumors about the Galaxy Z Fold 3. So this could actually be eventually coming with S Pen support. So Samsung have made absolutely massive strides from the Fold to the Fold 2. Like it's just unbelievably different and better in every way. The screen, the design, the only thing lacking from that phone is S Pen support. And we know this time it didn't get it because of the screen. They couldn't really get it right in terms of having a screen that could fold and also durable enough for an S Pen. It looks like this is coming though, could be in the Z Fold 3. So for what we know about the Galaxy S21 series right now, three phones in the lineup, the smallest S21 with the same display technology, but both the S21 and S21 Plus coming with flat displays, completely flat, those 120 Hertz refresh rates. The punch hole selfie cameras in the middle will be the same as well. You should be getting 4K 60 on those. The triple camera systems right now, we don't know too much about except for the designs, as you can see from the hardware leaks, but it should be bringing us a 12 megapixel main, a 12 megapixel ultra, and then possibly a high megapixel three times zoom, just like we got last time. Of course, we'll be getting the brand new Snapdragon 875 in these phones, the Exynos for Exynos regions, possibly called the 1000 or the 21000. No upgrades to the charging specs of these phones, 25 watt for the lower two, 45 watt for the ultra. So it looks like some iterative upgrades overall for these. Of course, the brand new chipset, slightly better screens, and a redesign in terms of the camera array and the bodies as well. Looking forward to the Galaxy S21 series though. As always, let me know in the comments what you're looking forward to, which one of those phones, and if they are tickling your fancy this time. That's it for now though. Thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one.